Hi everyone, let's take a look on how to create and also update a contact in system.io using make.com. And we will do so by also adding values for first name, last name, and all the other fields you, you may want to include while you create a contact or update a contact. So um, the module on make uh, does offer this functionality to simply add a contact by using the email. Doing so indeed creates the contact. So currently I only have this, but after triggering, I only have a second email. The bad thing here is that this contact now does not contain any attributes such as first name, last name, or whatever. So what we need to do is we will need to add those fields to, to the module. And in order to do so, we need the fields slug value, and then we can also um, insert any value we want. So how do we get this? Um, let's start with the contact we just created, richard at gosynergetic.com. If we use the list contacts module, input the email here, we search for it, we run this module, we get this back, this data. And there it includes all the fields which are filled out, which in this case is none, right? Because only the email is filled out, all the others are not. So I would advise you to create a contact, which I did, containing all the, uh, yeah, in, simply insert some value into every field. So if you now take this email and you look up this contact, you will receive the data regarding this, this contact, which now contains all the uh, slugs for these fields, as well as the value, which we don't need in this case, but um, we really want to look up the slug here. And this is especially important if you do have custom fields. So let's say you're running webinars and you want to include a webinar link. You might have a field core called webinar link, like this then this will be the slug actually. But you might not remember, so potentially someone else set up this field. So simply put in test whatever value you want, save it. And as we can see here, this does not include uh, the webinar link because it was not included. But if we search for the contact again, you see it's the same email. If we search for it again, now the webinar link is included and you know which slug to use. So let's create a contact which, uh, yeah, which, which, which contains a few fields. So let's go with richard.aaron plus two at gmail.com. We now want to include certain fields. Um, click OK. So the surname for this new contact should be test surname and we want it to have a company name called live company you can also insert variables here for your scenario once the slack is set up this will stay the same right you can use Google Sheet, whatever module or variable you have from Make, you can insert this. So simply do it like this, right? Um, but we wanted to have a test surname for now. Um, well, and this is basically the same for all the fields now. If you do the webinar link, you take the slug, add it as a field, field slug, webinar link value. It's just a test, right? So if we run this module now, run this module, it creates the contact, we refresh, and we now have this contact here containing the test surname, the live company, and the webinar link value. Um, yeah, so let's look at how to, to update a contact. So um, we take this email from, from the contact we just created, paste it in the list contacts module. We search for this contact in order to get the ID because we can update contacts using, using the contact ID. I've just created the module update a contact where we can paste the contact ID. Obviously you can use a variable here as well if you have it in a scenario for an automated way. 
And now we have the same system as for the um, for the create a contact module. We need the slugs. So we choose the webinar link. That's the only uh, field we want to update. And we now want it to did not join. And if we run this module, we see in the output, the test surname stays there, the live company as well. And the value for the webinar link is now did not join. This is how it was before. And if we refresh the page, you see did not join. And you can do this for all the other fields and the, uh, yeah, all the other fields and attributes you have as well um, in exactly the same manner. I hope this helps you and um, I hope you enjoy using the app. If you do so, please uh, let me know and if you have any questions as well. Bye-bye.